Hello and welcome to a video that I've created for teachers to help them save time whilst writing reports this summer. Did you know that teachers, when you take into account the work in school, whilst outside of school, planning and marking, assessing, we work for less than minimum wage. So if you were provided an opportunity to cut down some of those hours, but still provide the same service for your students, you'd take it, right? So. How can we save time writing our reports? What we're going to be using is a piece of software called ChatGPT. And I know what a lot of you are thinking. I can't use that. I'm not tech savvy enough to understand that. But I promise you, even my granddad who's 84 and suffers from short term memory loss would be able to do this without any problems. If that's something you would like to see, throw a like on this video. And if this video gets 100 likes, I'll teach my granddad to write a report using ChatGPT. As I said, it is straightforward. As long as you follow the steps in this video, you can't go wrong. However, before we move forward, I would like to disclose that this channel wasn't created to help teachers with their IT. Instead, its main use is to allow children to become better and more confident in education. I achieve this by providing resources and videos that link to the resources that can be used in lessons at home or for interventions. So if you could utilize these resources or just interested in finding out more, please subscribe to the channel and throw a like on this video. That is the best way for you to say thank you for the content that I create. So let's get back to showing you how to use AI and ChatGPT to write your reports, saving you hours. To start, I'll disappear so you can see the entire screen. First, you need to open any internet browser. I have Google open. Then you're going to search for chat GPT, Gorilla, Penguin, Teacher. Then you'll see openai.com. You can search directly for openai.com here. However, I like to search through Google. It's just my, my preference. I need to click on this and it will take me to this page. There I can click on try chat, B, try chat GPT and it'll ask me to sign up. It is completely free and it is completely safe. I have already signed up, so I will show you where it will take you. Once you sign in, it will take you to a screen that looks like this. Here are examples of what you could ask and limitations. So limitation, it may occasionally generate incorrect information. So you need to make sure that you read through what it creates. So how can I use ChatGPT to help me write my reports? Well, there are two main ways. One, you can get it to write an entire paragraph that will basically create the bulk and the body of what you're going to be writing. For example, I could write, write a paragraph about a child in my class for his report. He is energetic, energetic, happy in school, and very capable academically. And it will generate, after a couple seconds, a paragraph. So, this student exudes an, an abundance of energy and enthusiasm, which brings a vibrant atmosphere in the classroom. Always wearing a bright smile, this young learner as exemplifies a genuine joy of being in school. So as you can see, it creates a nice little bulk paragraph. And I wouldn't use it all but it creates a starting point. If I didn't like that, I can click regenerate response. Okay. I am delighted to provide a glowing report on a remarkable student in our class who embodies boundless energy, a contagious sense of joy and a remarkable ac academic prowess. This exceptional child's enthusiasm is unmatched infusing our classroom with an electrifying spirit that is both invigorating and inspiring. If I didn't like what I was getting, I could ask it to simply write it more formal, and it will do that. Now, it's created a more formal tone. Again, it creates the bulk of what you're going to be writing. However, sometimes you want to make it more style to you as the teacher, more personal, and that's where the second way that ChatGPT can help. You can ask ChatGPT to write 10 different 
comments about a child who is um, exceeding in maths, especially fractions. Then, this exceptional student has truly mastered the realm of math mathematics, particularly excelling in the intricate realm of fractions. This budding mathematician displays exceptional accuracy and precision when performing operations involving fractions, consistently producing correct and concise solutions. I can create myself a word bank like this. Well, a comment bank. See how easy that could be. I could literally take these comments and put them into an Excel spreadsheet. And then I've got 10 comments, all different, all unique, about a child who's doing well in fractions. You might have two or three in your class. You'd pick your two or three favorite. What about the hard part of telling a parent that actually sometimes your child shouts out, but to do it in a nice way? Let's see if ChatGPT can do that. Write a short paragraph about a child who is confident and loud um, and has the following strengths. Um, maths, English, PA. They're always PA. Areas of development. Um, reduce the time. Um, shouting out and out of the seat. Report writing for parent. Let's see what it creates. I'm delighted to provide a report on a remarkable student in our class who possesses a confident and expressive nature. This child exhibits notable strengths in multiple subjects, including maths, English, and PA. However, in an area for development lies in their tendency to shout out and frequently leave their seat, encouraging them to reduce such behaviours and actively participate in with the expected boundaries would further enhance their classroom experience. I think that's quite a nice way to, to put that across. What about a different, another response? I am pleased to provide you a report. Again, I would take that out. This remarkable student possesses a notable level of confidence and an outgoing nature, making their presence felt in the classroom. They exhibit exceptional aptitude in mathematics, English, and physical education. In maths, their skills are commendable, demonstrating a deep understanding of concepts and consistently achieving impressive results. While these strengths are truly commendable, there are areas where your child could further develop. Again, I think that's quite nice to introduce. One such area is to reduce the tendency to shout out and remain seated during class activities, encouraging them to raise their hands and wait for their turn to contribute or foster a more structured learning environment and provide equal opportunities for all students to participate. Again, I think it's quite a subtle and nice but direct way of putting that in a report. So, could you see how you could utilise ChatGPT? You can change the vocabulary, stop repetitive words, change the introduction to having direct names, but can you see how quickly it is to create a word bank or a bulk of a paragraph? It will definitely shorten the time you spend writing your reports. If you like this video, please throw a like and subscribe. It is a massive help if you subscribe to my channel and I'm not going to beg, but please, 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 please have a nice day.